Good morning Year 4! This is your Tuesday's Maths lesson and today we're going to be making mind maps about our exciting new topic of measurement. So our TLP is can I create a mind map showing everything I know about time, perimeter and area? So to get started, can you pause the video and make sure you've got your maths book or a piece of paper and three different coloured pens or just anything to write with? That's great! So First of all, we need to draw out our mind map, don't we? So we need one arrow with time, like you can see here, one with area, and one with perimeter. And we need to think about everything we know about these three areas. If you're thinking, Miss Coleman, I'm not sure that I know very much about some of these areas, don't worry, because that's what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks. We're going to be learning all about them. Here is some terminology to help you with your mind maps. If you would like, you can pause the video here and get started on your own. Remember to add in anything extra that you can think of to these sections. If not, we'll have a go at doing it together now. OK, Year 4, so we should be starting with something that looks like this. And now we're going to add to our different sections. So let's start with time. Now what can we think of that we know about time? Well, we know about the days of the week. Days of the week. Oh, and we know the months of the year. Maybe you would like to put in some of your favourite days or months. Which month is your birthday in? Oh, and we know about the seasons, that's to do with time, isn't it? Seasons, and I might maybe draw some pictures there. I'm going to draw sun, and that is supposed to be a snowflake. And a leaf for autumn, maybe. And a nice tree for spring. Summer, winter, autumn and spring. Then we might have, I suppose, time throughout the day, mightn't we? So morning, evening, we might say a.m. or p.m. That's to do with time, isn't it? What about some terms for time? We might say always, never, often. Sometimes, oh, we haven't thought about time in terms of the clock yet. So what time can we think about that's to do with telling the time? So we've got hours, haven't we? Hours, minutes, minutes for the spelling, seconds. And I might, I might draw a clock here. And we've got o'clock, haven't we? Quarter past, maybe half past, and quarter two. Whilst we're thinking about clocks, we've got digital clocks that we could put on there, analog clocks. What else? How else can you pipe? Tell the time. You might use a watch. And then if we think about how time moves, we might think it goes fast or slow. Or we might think it goes quickly, I suppose. Sometimes, doesn't it, time? And then we've got the way we measure the passing of years. So we could have centuries, decades, a millennium, now let's have a think about area. What do we know about area? Well, we know that it's the space that a space take that a shape takes up. 
it is the area covered so I suppose we could draw visual representation a bit like this where we colour in all of this and this represents the area all of this that's coloured would be the area we could call it surface area And how might we measure area? Do you know? Yeah, in centimetres squared. And we write that like this. CM like short for centimetres with a little two for squared. Or could be metres squared, couldn't it? If you've got anything else to add, add it yourself. Let's have a think about perimeter. So perimeter is the distance around the outside, around a two-dimensional shape. What did I just say? Around the outside, isn't it? So we could put that on there. Maybe we could draw a picture for that as well. If I've got my rectangle here, I could do that to show that the perimeter is, goes around the outside. How could you draw a visual of perimeter? And We could measure the perimeter of different shapes, couldn't we? So we could write shape on there and do some different shapes that we might be able to measure a perimeter of. And what do we measure perimeter in? Yeah, centimetres, metres, kilometres. Brilliant. Now it's time for you to have a go at home and show us later on Zoom.